and that's it, and they're away. And on the near side, showing very good speed, is Nashville Blues, band on the run. Jade Vale also well up there, and also approach the bench. And on the near side, Grand Vitesse with Jade Vale. And over on the far side, showing good speed, is Neptune's Pet with Philidor. Neptune's Test isolated over on the far side. Grand Vitesse towards the near side, just about the leader. Grand Vitesse on the near side, being chased by uh, Double Echo right up there. Also High Premium well there on the near side. High Premium, Spanish Storm in the very centre of the course. Right up with them also on the near side is walking the plank, visored for the first time, but high premium just about has the advantage now with a sheepskin noseband on the near side. High premium from walking the plank. Right up there, little Roussillon also. They're racing towards the halfway mark now, and it's high premium, the leader, towards the near side. Jade Fail is well there also. Spot the white cap towards the right of the picture. Also holding his position is Walk the Plank in the center running very fast. And Royal Seaton coming there in the center. And it's Royal Seaton in the center. And here comes Imperial Ballet. Royal Seaton and Imperial Ballet as they enter the closing stages. Imperial Ballet surging away from Royal Seaton now. Philidor over on the far side. But Imperial Ballet is going to win it from Royal Seaton as they come to the line. Imperial Ballet it is. Clear of Royal Seaton. Philidor is third on the far side. It's a very close thing for fourth with probably just getting up to be fourth. Double flutter. But Imperial Ballet is yet another winner, a third winner of the meeting for Henry Cecil, and a first victory, a second victory rather for Pat Edry. And so the result of the Royal Hunt Cup is first, number five, Imperial Ballet, owned by Mr. Robert Sangster, trained by Henry Cecil, and ridden by Pat Edry. Second was number 12, Royal Seaton, owned by Axminster Corbett's Limited, trained by Rod Millman and ridden by Alan Mackay, and third, number 14, Philidor, owned by Mr. Jeff Smith, trained by James Eustace and ridden by Neil Kennedy, and a photo for fourth, but in my view, just fourth, number 22, Double Flutter. So Henry Cecil wins the Hunt Cup with a stable neglected. The favourite Tappy Rouge nowhere. Walked the plank, made a lot of early running. At this point, High Premium was just about in front. But then Royal Seaton came through with a white cap in the centre of the course and for a moment looked like landing a West Country gamble. But then looked back to Pat Edry coming on the right of that leading group with the white cap and the green and blue colours. And as they come to the furlong marker, Alan Mackay is sending out distress signals on Royal Seaton. And Imperial Ballet, who's been such a disappointment so far, sweeps into the lead with Pat Edry looking over his shoulder for non-existent danger. He's done it on the day that the ground eased. He's cruised away for one of the most comfortable Royal Hunt Cup successes for a number of years and confounded the theory that the ground would be faster on the far side. Pat Edry, with his hands on his horse's neck, Royal Seaton closes again on the line. Philidor, who hated the ground, runs on gallantly to be third, close for fourth. 